Marquez Peterson. Peterson and I'm the president of the Tucson Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Chairwoman Bronson, Board of Supervisors, and uh, Mr. Huckleberry. Um, the Tucson Hispanic Chamber represents more than a thousand member businesses in southern Arizona and Sonora, with the majority of them located here in Pima County. We request that the Board of Supervisors consider the economic impact of the proposed budget and its recommendation to increase primary property taxes. The proposed budget currently recommends an increase of 16.7% which is a drastic increase to our business community. Such an increase impacts the vitality of our existing business community and may deter companies from relocating to our county. While homes and small businesses are certainly affected, this also impacts our largest employers in the community the most. Chamber companies with multiple locations have expressed concern over a six-figure increase in property taxes here in Pima County. Such a tax increase may impact their ability to expand and to hire new positions in Pima County as they consider the financial burden compared to other counties in our state. Our community has just begun to recover from this economic downturn and it's been very slow. We're not ready to right the budget shortfalls that the county has experienced over the last several years. We ask that the board consider each of the components of the proposed, proposed primary property tax carefully. Tough decisions within the county to delay projects or forego improvements must be made. Funds must be found elsewhere for the priority initiatives the county wants to develop. We calculated the 16.7% increase based on the newly proposed 33.27 cent increase from the rate of 3.665 approved in May, making the new property tax rate 4.2779 for $100 of assessed value, which was an increase of 61.14 cents this year, or to us an increase of 16.7%. We ask that you reconsider the primary property tax increase for the future, perhaps. Our business community continues to recover financially from the recent economic downturn, and we need the time and the predictability to become healthy again. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you.